Hi, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Sammy Dolls. In this little video series, I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully. I simply like creating things and sewing so much and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it. All the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description and now Let's get started. In this video we're going to have a look at all the different stitch programs on the sewing machine and we're also going to find out which presser foot to use for which stitch program. I'm really lucky on my sewing machine when I select a stitch it shows me a letter underneath this little presser foot symbol which tells me which presser foot to use for which stitch. And here is my foot J which is the zigzag stitch foot and I'm just going to clip it into my sewing machine right here and then I can get started with sewing. And I just want to have a look at all the basic stitches. So we're starting off with the straight stitch. I'm just using my zero program and I'm setting the stitch length to 2.5 and I'm just sewing a simple seam. So all the basic stitches are just really the ones that you need to sew all my sewing patterns. You just need the straight stitch and you can also use it to baste and to make little ruffles or to make pin tucks like this. It's just a basic straight stitch that you need for all these different seams. If you want to sew on a zipper you need your zipper foot which is the letter I on my sewing machine. I'm just going to put on the next foot. I just re release the old foot with this little button in the back and then I can put on the next foot. And there we go, we can sew a zipper on with that foot. Next we're going to have a look at the triple stretch stitch. <laughs> That's a mouthful. We need the foot J again. So this is really good for sewing stretch fabrics and for attaching sleeves, sewing inseams and for decorative stitching. It keeps the fabric nice and stretchy and elastic so it's a really good stitch to use for that. If you're ever in doubt which sewing foot to use for what, just have a look in your manual or have a look online for your sewing machine manual. Next we're going to use the blind hem foot R, which is used for blind stitching. And this is what it's, it looks like. It's really handy when you want to sew pants and you don't want the stitching to sew, to show. <laughs> Sorry. It's just a really nice way to finish your edges. And now we're having a look at the lightning stitch. I'm always making it a bit more narrow and it's a really nice stitch that I like to use for my doll bodies. It's a bit zigzaggy so it's like you're sewing two seams at the same time. And the other stitch that works really well for the doll bodies is the triple stretch, triple stretch stitch. <laughs> yeah. So this one's another really good one to use. I had to restart it down there, that's why it looks a bit bulky. So both really good stitches for stretchy dull body skin fabrics. Next we're going to have a look at the zigzag stitch, which is really good for overcasting and for attaching appliques. So I'm going to attach an applique here with this zigzag stitch and you can adjust the stitch length and the stitch width accordingly to get exactly the look that you want. Doesn't that look lovely? Next we're going to have a look at the three point zigzag stitch which is really good for sewing on elastics, also really good for overcasting. A really great stitch to use especially on stretch fabrics. Next we're having a look at the presser foot G which is used to sew overcasting stitches and I'm just clipping it in like all the other presser feet as well. And then we can overcast with the sewing machine even if we don't have a serger. So there are three different stitches, six, seven and eight. Number six is for lightweight fabrics, seven is for medium weight fabrics or heavyweight fabrics and number eight is for stretch fabrics. And we're starting off with a stitch for lightweight fabrics because this is a really thin and lightweight fabric right here. And this is what it looks like. And also there's going to be a more detailed video about how to overcast without a serger or an overlocker. Now I'm sewing the medium or heavyweight stitch which looks really lovely, almost like a serger or overlocker. 
So of course you would do it in a matching fabric, uh, matching thread, not like I'm doing here with a contrasting thread. And last but not least, we have the stretch over casting stitch, and that's what it looks like. And if we want to sew on a button, we need to sew a buttonhole first, and then we need this monstrosity of a presser foot, which is the buttonhole sewing foot. And I had such a hard time finding this foot, so if you want to have a look at my ordeal, there's a video on my channel talking about it. So here are all kinds of different buttonhole stitches. I'm starting off with number 26 and I'm making it a little bit smaller so that the stitches are more narrow and they make a really really nice buttonhole. Later in the series there will be a detailed video about how to sew buttonholes and how to sew on buttons with your sewing machine as well. And as you can see here there are different kinds of stitches and some of them don't look right that's because I had to adjust the tension first so it's always good to sew a little test piece. So I have a lot more different other decorative stitches here on my sewing machine which I hardly ever use or just for decoration purposes but in this little tutorial I wanted to focus on the main stitches, on the stretch stitch, on the zigzag stitches, on the overcasting stitches and on the buttonhole stitches. If you want to see any more detailed stitch tutorials let me know in the comments. In the next video we're going to have a look at all the different sewing threads that are out there and which are best for which project. I hope I see you in that video again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests and if you like head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye!